It is time once again for our infamous daytime dish. And if you're keeping up with the Kardashians, and who isn't, where are they this summer? Hmm? Well, Nantucket, of course. Courtney got a hookup from Airbnb for a seven bedroom, eight bathroom Cape Cod estate that usually rents for $6,600 a night, as if the Kardashians need a hookup. And by the way, Scott Disick's there, too. He asked if he could tag along, and Courtney said, yes. Things wow. that make you go, hmm. <laughs> uh, there might be another baby on the way, but I don't want to start any rumors. <laughs> okay. it, it does look like Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes' breakup is the real deal this time. Uh -huh. But can you really break up if you've never technically admitted that you were even together? It's no secret that there have been some bumps in the road for the not-so-secret couple over the course of the mm -hmm. past few months. But according to this week's edition of Star Magazine, Jamie like Foxx the Bible, Star and Magazine. Katie Holmes are really, really, really over, never, ever getting back together. And he might already have a new girlfriend. Okay, I just want to say something. If this is true, and, you know, Star Magazine, who knows if it's true, the celebrity, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have told Cindy Edwards, who insists, insists that they were not breaking up, that they would. So... If they were ever together. We don't... Oh, no, they... they <laughs> were they for sure? Yeah, they were okay. for sure. All right, Ashley Graham is probably the most famous plus-size model in America and advocates for women being confident about their bodies. But some of her fans went after her when she posted a couple of new pictures showing off a thinner body. One person said she doesn't think the noticeably thinner Graham is special any longer. What? <laughs> Another thinks Graham is now portraying the idea that you have to be skinny need to be beautiful and others slammed her for losing weight Yikes. what is wrong with people i mean you know i think everyone looks best if they're in shape for themselves, for themselves. In, in taking care of themselves be fit. happy for you know for the body you have right and, and if you want to improve it great yeah. but if not let people be for goodness i sake. agree and oh. miley cyrus was wearing a cap that looked like she was going all in for team trump it looks like she was wearing a cap that read, Make America Great Again. But if you read the fine print, the red cap actually read, Make America Gay Again. And Miley was out for sushi at Cafe Nobu in Malibu with Liam Hemsworth when she was spotted wearing this capper. You know, you got to hand it to Miley Cyrus. Even when she's oh. not wanting to stir things up, she stirs things of up. Of course. All right. Britain's Prince Harry now says he regrets not talking about how the death of his mother, Princess Diana, affected him. He was just 12 when she was killed in a car crash. Harry spoke at an event for a mental health charity established by him, Prince William and Kate Middleton. He told the crowd that the key message is everyone can suffer from mental health. He explained it's important for those grieving to talk about their feelings. But he was only 12. Amen. I mean, you well, know, nobody see, expected a 12-year-old. But year as old. he got older, he still didn't talk about right. it. And that's really interesting that he said it. You know, yeah. he should have done Good that. Good for him. All right. And that is our daytime dish. We'll be right back.